Hi, this is Linda with Casey Creations by Linda, taking you on a tour of my latest journal. It is called Mermaid's Garden. It does measure 9 by 6. It has a 4.5 inch spine and a hard cover. Here we've got some sea moss and some dried coral, some Spanish moss. We've got some gauze under here that I've tea stained. These are real shells that are glued on. It has a big tassel here. All different kinds of blues and greens, sparkly. We've got beads. And there's another one. Little pieces of coral. It is a jump ring binder. So it does lay nice and flat for you. As flat as my journals can get. There's a beautiful mermaid there. This is the first section. We have a flip here and I've put some blue chiffon ribbon there. We've got some more of the moss and the dry coral. Pulls these cards. Beautiful lighthouse. There's a seahorse. And all the cards and tags are backed with another layer of cardstock, so they're very durable and won't bend on you. As you can see, I've made the pocket where it completes the beautiful mermaid underneath. And it flips open. We have an angled pocket here. Beautiful pictures of coral. There's another mermaid. Pretty shells. And here, this flips this way, and I fussy cut out one of the big shells there. Pull this card, one of their beautiful under the ocean houses. Got to pull out from the top. Got some blue chiffon, little seahorse there on a bulb pin. There she is under there. And all the cards have been backed with lined paper or decorative paper so that you can journal on them also. Here I've made another angled pocket. I've got an octopus. Here, big pocket. And I've made the pocket again where it completes her image. Can fold it over you can see that this flip finishes her off if we remove this one that does too so I've made the flips where they actually finish off the image that is underneath Beautiful images coral shark there's an old ship got it dangled on the side plus they cut out one of the octopus put some chiffon here we've got a big acetate belly band and I have made an acetate pocket in the card to hold these two a seagull on the beach, another beautiful ship. Opens up, you've got a little notebook there, and it's got its own little jute and twine and some dark green fibers. See the little jump rings there. This side we've got a big flip here. So pull out from the top. See the crab there? Got a little anchor. It's more of the gauze that I've coffee stained. That flips open. Nice 
spot there you could glue something down here angled pocket that completes the octopus there there's a shark with a starfish it's Davy Jones it's more beautiful shells starfish Swings open this way. Got a big pocket here. I have to cut out a little dolphin there. It's another one of the sharks. And all the cards, tags, and journal covers have been inked with distress ink. So it kind of makes them blend in with the surroundings. Here we have a band, and you want to push this one down because of little dangle I have put on here. Let me get them all undone from the moss there. Slips out. Now you can see all the pretty fibers. Here's the moss. Got a big acetate window there showing their house underneath. Another shark. A dolphin. up we've got another journaling notebook it's got to pull out from the side but I do believe it comes from the other side and this has some more of the beautiful fibers angled pocket here we've got some more of the gauze, some sea moss there. There's a pocket here, and there's a pocket here. A little dolphin on the top there. The jellyfish. Up here. You can see that the pockets complete the image underneath. A beautiful little otter. chest. There she is all dressed up. And there's a pull out from the side. It's one of her beautiful shoes. And there's Fussy Cut, one of the mermaids. This side we have one of the mermaids. I've got some little moss down there, more of the gauze, some little tiny seashells there. On the end, there's a little ship there. It opens up. We've got all these cards. The shark, the crab, beautiful mermaids. Has a pull out from the side. There's her tail. Got a shell here. Some more fibers. And it opens this way. Got a side flip here. Got a pocket here, here, and here. And more of the moss there. Octopus, dolphin. There's a jellyfish, another dolphin. There's a clam, fish. It swings open this way. Big pocket here. Make this little notebook. Here I've cut out one of the shells to hold this little stamp. Beautiful shell. Has a flip. 
And Flip has its own pocket. It's a turtle. Here we've got a little belly band. I put, cut out one of the fish there. Here we have goldfish. Beautiful mermaid. One of the turtles. Flips open. Big pocket here, and I've cut out some of the coral. A little seahorse stamp. And the pocket completes the image with the heart with the shells in it all ruffled around. It's a beautiful lighthouse. The starfish has its pole. And the dolphins, more the gauze chiffon ribbon. There's an octopus. We've got some of the Spanish moss. And on this side, we have several pockets. Pockets and pockets and pockets. And if I take them all out, you can see that even the pockets make the complete the image underneath. More little gauze, little moss. Beautiful violin. Got some lace along the edge there. There's a parasol. Little shell. Beautiful starfish. Right here, get all my fibers going one way. I've got to pull up from this side here. There we go. There she is. Some more beautiful fibers. And another pull out. Some more of the fibers. Three little pockets here. Put some of the gauze and some of the fibers at the bottom there. Shell, jellyfish, and each pocket completes the image underneath. Here's some fish and some more beautiful shells. Blowfish, shrimp, on this side we've got a little tie here, it's twine, it goes through the eyelets, two more pockets, and up here, beautiful chest again. Seahorse. That opens up. We've got a belly band here. One of the beautiful houses underneath the ocean. And then under this band, which completes the image, there she is. When they transform into humans, come on shore. Over here, pocket. And the next side here, we've got a little flip. Let's see, how did I do? There we go. Flips open this way. It has a pull out. Let's get them going right. There we go. There's her little tail again. And then there 
is another pull out. And a big card from the top. Some of the beautiful fibers. On this side, another flip here with little pockets. There's some of the gauze. We've got the sea moss with some dried coral. And the gauze again. open. I have cut out some shells there. Let me see if I can grab a piece of paper where you can see how it's cut out there. Just cut around all the shells. This beautiful card. Here we've got three pockets. Each one completes the image. As you can see, there's her house, and then the three pockets finish it off. So mermaid got some sari silk as its little tie. Beautiful shells with a seahorse. Some little lace in the corner. And there's a pretty fish. He's got some more pretty fibers on him. And make a good bookmark. And it flips open again. Check out everything so you can see the image underneath. It's the octopus, and I just made two more prints of him and cut them all around so his little legs make pockets. There's a beautiful dolphin, some gauze, some more fibers. And more fibers on him. Here we have a flip here, little pocket. Got some very long cards here. Again, make some good bookmarks. And it has a pull out from the side. We have a pocket, <clears throat> and it's a flip, it has a pull out from the bottom, there's a beautiful hat, more of the moss and the gauze. Stamp, fish, octopus, it flips open, pocket here, with all these cards, you can see it finishes the image again, all the pockets I make generally finish the image, there's a shark, again. Made another acetate belly band. <clears throat> Excuse me. Put these cards. And there's plenty of room. You could slide something else if you wanted under there. And this is the back. This is your actual journal. 
it is removable. And there is, I believe, let me think. I'll get back with you on how many pages. 60. There we go. I knew I would remember eventually. There's some jute with some lace. trim with some pearls. And there's the center so you could slide more pages under there if you wanted. Something maybe you have. There's some burlap with lace on it. And there you go. I hope you have enjoyed this. I do thank you for your time in watching. And I've also made some nautical bottles. And I will have those listed shortly. Thank you so much. Have a great one. Bye-bye.